Road traffic policing, key powers. Section 163 of the Road Traffic Act. The driver of a mechanically propelled vehicle on a road must stop if required by a constable in uniform or a traffic officer. This also applies to cyclists on the road. Failure to comply is a summary offence that may result in a fine. Section 163 with the power of Section 17 PACE is a power of entry. Power to enter and search any premises to arrest for drink or drug driving or failure to stop if reasonable grounds to believe they're on the premise. Section 4 of PACE, road checks. They're used in a locality to stop all vehicles or vehicles selected by any criterion. They may also be carried out by a PCSO and as as well as constables, including the power to stop vehicles. For the purpose of ascertaining if a vehicle contains A. Offender, not for road traffic offences. B. Witnesses to offences. C. Person intending to commit an offence. Or D. Someone who is unlawfully at large. Must be authorised by superintendent or above in writing or any officer if urgent, but they must inform a superintendent as soon as is reasonably practicable. Required for authorisation. Reasonable grounds that an indictable offence is believed to have been committed and the person is in or about to be in the locality. You must know the offence and locality if you are looking for an offender or a person intending to commit an offence. You must know the offence if looking for a witness of the offence and you must know the locality if someone is unlawfully at large. Written authorisation includes authorising officer, purpose of check and locality of check. The duration of the road checks must also be noted and it must be no longer than seven days. Section 164, Road Traffic Act. A driver must produce a licence to a constable or vehicle examiner if, driving a vehicle on a road, their reasonable cause to believe driving a motor vehicle on a road was involved in an accident, there is reasonable cause to believe they have committed an offence regarding the use of a motor vehicle on a road, supervisor of a provisional licence holder in motor vehicle on a road, or there are reasonable grounds to believe person was supervisor of a provisional licence holder in a motor vehicle on a road at a time when an accident was involving or occurred or a suspected offence has occurred. Failure is a summary offence. You must be able to state a date of birth if required by a constable if licence is suspected to belong to another, suspected to be erroneous, altered or fails to produce a licence forthwith or the suspects the supervisor is not over the age of 21. They may seize a licence if expired or revoked. If seized, must produce a receipt if later stopped. The defences for 164. They produce a licence in person at a police station within seven days. They produce them there as soon as reasonably practicable and it was not practicable to produce prior to proceedings commencing. Section 165 of the Road Traffic Act. If someone is driving on a road, there is reasonable cause to believe driving a motor vehicle on a road involved them in an accident or they committed an offence regarding a motor vehicle on a road. They must provide the name, address and name, name of owner and provide a certificate of insurance, MOT and relevant certificates if goods vehicle. This is to a constable or a vehicle examiner. Defences as before, also apply here. Supervisors must also provide their and owner's details. Power to seize vehicle. A constable may seize or remove a vehicle or enter premises which are not private dwellings where there are reasonable grounds to believe the vehicle is if any of the below conditions are satisfied. And these must all be believe. One, uniform constable request licence it's failed to be produced and reasonable grounds for believing a motor vehicle is or was being driven otherwise than in accordance with the licence. Two, a uniformed constable speaks to a driver who fails to evidence motor vehicle insurance and there are reasonable grounds to believe that the vehicle is or was being driven without insurance. And three, there's a uniformed constable, the driver fails to stop the vehicle or is 
stop for long enough and there are reasonable grounds to believe that that specific vehicle is or was being driven otherwise than in accordance with a license or insurance. Before seizing, the constable must warn the driver that it will be seized if he doesn't produce the license immediately or if they don't produce evidence of insurance immediately unless it is impractical. If failed to stop, it may be seized within 24 hours if they were unable to seize immediately due to fail to stop or driving away. Section 165B, Retention of Seized Vehicles. Police or an authorised agent must take steps to keep the vehicle safe until released or disposed. A driver must be given a seizure notice, including the VRM, and make the place that it has been seized and where it's kept, and the requirement to claim in a specific period of time, an indication that the vehicle disposed of, if not claim, and that they must pay charges and provide a licence or insurance at the station. If they are not the owner, police must attempt to give a notice to the keeper and or the owner. Disposal is only after 14 days. If sold, the net proceeds must go back to the owner if claimed within one year. Road Traffic Act, Section 1723. Duty to give ID of driver. Where the driver of a vehicle is alleged to be guilty of an offence to which this section applies, a person keeping the vehicle shall give such information as to the identity of the driver as he may be required to give by on behalf of the Chief Officer of Police and any other person, if required, shall state the above information which in her power to give may lead to identification of the driver. The exceptions to this are Offences relating to driving instructors, motor events on public highways, protective headgear, type approval regulations, uncorrected eyesights, unlawful vehicle taking in Scotland and post-conviction offences under the Road Traffic Offenders Act, amongst a number of others. They are required by keeper at time of requirement, not at the time of the offence or any other who is able. Failure is a summary fine and discretionary disqualification. You must make a requirement on behalf of the Chief of Police, and it includes suspected drivers. The keeper does not have to be sure they were, in fact, the one driving. Defences for this, under 1724, if the person can show that they did not and could not have ascertained with reasonable diligence who the driver was, or if they can show that they gave the info as soon as possible after 28 days and it had not been reasonably practical to give it prior to that. Thank you for listening. I hope this is helpful. These are literally the recordings I made for myself and thought it might be useful for you. Do make sure that you get the Blackstone Police Manuals to get the full experience and all the up-to-date information. Bear in mind that this is only relevant as of when it's taking place in 2021 and uh, these videos might not be so accurate or relevant in 2022.